so this will be my review of Haikyuu chapter 220, Joining of Forces. And this chapter we have Kageyama and Hinata's interaction, which is one of my favorite things about Haikyuu. So yeah, this chapter was good and amazing and all of those nice things. So let's get into it. As soon as Kageyama and Hinata meet, they instantly have a race to the locker room where they're supposed to change from their normal clothes to their training gear. Um, Hinata wins the race, which is a nice comparison to the last time I think we saw them race, because, because I think that Kakiyama won that time. Um, so yeah, that was a nice touch. But when they reach the lockers, they are early and they don't have a key. So they're just like, well, let's just play pass the ball or whatever. Um, so they go to... I think they just go like down in the area just before, before just in front of the... Uh, locker rooms um, and just pass the ball and they start talking about what they've been doing for the past week or past five days where they've been on their training camps um, so Hinata starts talking about how all the guys that they fought before have improved and how they're like really good and stuff and he Kageyama's just like well yeah I kind of gathered that so no surprise there um, and then <laughs> Kageyama just kind of spills that on my training camp, the little giant was there, and I probably should have done a live reaction to this because my reaction was just, what? Because first I thought he was talking about the actual little giant, but no, he was just talking about the little dude that was really good and resembled what you would see in a little giant figure such as Hinata and the dude from Wakunan. Kageyama tells Hinata just how good this player is and that Hinata just is nowhere near this, his level, which kind of pisses Hinata off. But their little spat is kind of interrupted by Tanaka, who comes along with the key, um, and they can now get inside, and we have interaction with more of the Karasuno members, which is really nice, because it's been a long time since we've seen them. As they then go up to the locker room, Kakeyama then suddenly, suddenly tells Hinata that he needs to jump higher, but before we get like an explanation of what the hell Kakeyama means by that, we then have Nishinoya interrupting by just kind of jumping at Hinata. Um, and we also have like a really cute moment with Suka being the mom that he is just kind of doting on his children, <laughs> uh, asking if Tsukishima's grown and just being really cute and fluffy. I love Suka. We have some background things of Kageyama and Hinata kind of bickering a little bit, uh, but what's important is that Shimizu and Yachi is there and Shimizu is like well, they're back to bickering now that they're together again, but I sense some kind of peace between them. And I think that's really interesting because before they were really heated up about each other, like in the very beginning of their relationship. And now it's like they bicker because that's what they're used to, but they still have this amazing friendship going on, um, which we see multiple times in this chapter as they really encourage each other. Maybe not directly with words, but in their actions and uh, small hints that they give each other. And that's really cute. <laughs> So we go into some actual training and we see that Nishinoya and Yachi, I think it is, they are setting up some tape on the net and Yachi explains to Hinata that over the course of this week, uh, where Hinata obviously hasn't been there because he's been the ball boy, um, they've divided the net into nine parts because the coach wants them to uh, be able to aim with their serves, which of course is really important because if you can aim you can kind of decide where the ball will go and you can get away from the um, the receivers and especially the libero. So we have basically kind of a little uh, montage of Asahi, Tanaka and what's his name? Uh, Kinoshita uh, serving and Asahi is doing really good. Tanaka is kind of lagging a little bit and what was his name again? <laughs> Kinoshita. Damn, I don't know his name. He doesn't appear much. Um, he basically does a quite good serve. I couldn't really figure out if it was a jump floater serve or if it was just a regular serve that, not, that Nishinoya then tried to catch with an overhand. Either way, he did pretty good um, because one, he has been practicing his serve, obviously, and two, Nishinoya isn't good with handling his overhand, uh, which is actually a re really interesting point because Nishinoya has always been this character who is almost flawless when it comes to volleyball and his position as a libero. But having this weakness of sorts, uh, where he he's not really as good as oh, at, at overhand as he has, as he is at underhand uh, receives, that's a really interesting point because that means that that's a, that's a weakness that his 
not his enemies, his opponents can explore. Um, and that's interesting because we know that the jump floater shove can only really be handled with, with an overhand received, so that's really interesting. Then we have Yamaguchi obviously practicing and Hinata notes that he's very fired up, though he when he serves it gets out of bounds, so he's probably a little too fired up. And then we have Kagawa serving, and he is a little off his game as he knows himself, um, but it's not too much, yet Hinata still receives this ball flawlessly. Um, and we have a bunch of people who are very impressed with Hinata, because I think it's Shimizu who says that, that sometimes, Hinata, sometimes Hinata moves as if some god has processed his body, and he does like some really incredible moves, but just like for that one time, but that receive he just did, it looked like he'd been doing that his whole life. And that's like the results of him being the ball boy. He looked at how other people moved and mimicked them. And now he's better. Of course, I don't think that he suddenly became a receiving god, but he's at least improving. Um, another thing that's really nice, I mentioned that the last time that Hinata and Kageyama uh, race against each other, Kagema won and this time Hinata won. This is also how they first met when they entered Karasuno. Uh, Kagiyama or Hinata, they challenged each other, each other basically and Kagiyama did a serve and Hinata couldn't receive it properly which then led to the vice principal's uh, wig being thrown off and then getting into a lot of trouble and stuff like that. But here he receives it perfectly. And I, th I just think that's a very good parallel to show just how far they've come since then and how the evolution of their relationship, they went from rivals to these weird, this weird combo which needed each other to these really great friends. And it just shows through their play. And even though at this point they aren't actually playing together because he not received a ball that Kagama wanted to be unreceivable. It's just, it, it shows some great development for the both of them, both in their character and their skills in volleyball. Um, so that's really nice. We then cut to the end of the practice and we have Daichi just telling Hinata and Kakiyama that, okay, you shouldn't overdo yourself now, you've just been to some training camps, we have a tournament later uh, in a few weeks, just don't overdo yourself, we can't, ha we can't do that now. So they're just like, well, just give us a little bit more time. Um, but then Hinata, before they start practicing, because they'll definitely start practicing, they haven't seen each other in a week, and that's probably too much for them. <laughs> um, he asked Kagiyama what he meant with, you need to jump higher, or whatever he said. Um, and Kagiyama is, uh, uses Hinata language, as I'm going to call it, and says that Hinata's jumps aren't the best kinds of jumps, because Hinata's jumps are kind of hippity hop, or hoppity hip, or whatever he said. But the best kind of jump is the one that's just wham, boom. That's the best kind of jump. Um, and that's probably what he realized when he saw the little giant play because... So this dude is really small, but he can jump really high. And as he said when he first talked about him back in... I think it was five chapters ago, the chapter that was called Sound. Um, I remember that. Uh, he said that this dude jumps even higher than Hinata, which I found just really impressive. Um, and he probably realized that the way the two of them jump are very different, and that's what he wants Hinata to be able to learn now. Because whether he wants to admit it or not, he really wants to see Hinata improve. Of course, it would be for the good of the team, but I think, as I said about the evolution of their friendship, he has really come to care for Hinata, and he probably sees him as his best friend. Um, and that's just really nice, like, their friendship really gives me life. Especially from Kagama's side, because I feel like he's always been this, this kind of isolated kid. Um, we didn't really know much about him from before middle school, but he's very introverted and awkward and very, like, intense about volleyball. So it would be really hard for him to make friends outside of, like, that volleyball school and with well, volleyball teams. And with his personality and how he doesn't really function well with teams, or at least he didn't before joining Karasuno, it would have been really hard for him to gain some really close friends. And now he has Sinata, and that's really sweet. Um, <laughs> and I think I should stop talking about their friendship before I cry. Overall, I found this chapter really good. I feel like it had some really good moments between Hinata and Kageyama that really showcased how their relationship has improved and 
evolved since that very first chapter and that very first episode where they first met each other and when they first started at Karasuno and just the, the evolution of their friendship is just something that's very sweet and I think that's one of the things that I'll always remember this series for because I don't know, the, the oddball duo, their friendship, it's just, it's very sweet, and I think I said that a lot, but yeah, it, it's very sweet. <laughs> um, also, going back to the chapter title, Joining of Forces, um, I really think that the things that they have learned from their uh, training camp, so what he, uh, Kagama learned from all those elite players and what Hinata saw from all those players who were still learning, those are the things that they'll be able to use and they'll be able to give advice to each other and their other teammates. Um, for example, Hinata, I think it was two chapters back, when he gave Hyakusawa the advice of how to move better as a setter because of his height and all of that stuff, um, that was a player that Hinata didn't necessarily have to look at because he's a middle blocker. It would make sense for him to look at how middle bloggers move and how they block and receive and spike and all of those things, but he chose us also to look at other players, which of course is also really smart, but he can then use that not only to see how his opponents move, but how his other, his own teammates could improve as well. And of course from Kakeyama's standpoint, he saw a person who resembled a little giant a lot. He was small and he could jump higher than Hinata, and it was just something that would be an obvious rival to Hinata and he could be like, okay, so now that I've seen this little giant figure move this way and I know that Hinata moves in this way, I can see how Hinata would be able to improve, which was why he was like, okay, you need to be able to jump higher and this is how you're gonna do it because you jump this way, but you need to jump this way. Um, so yeah, that was really amazing. Anyways, I think that was all that I had to say about this chapter. If you couldn't tell, I thought it was very sweet. And if you liked anything that I had to say, please leave a thumbs up and comment below what you thought of this chapter. And if you like me, you can subscribe to me. I also do reviews of One Piece and Shogu Gek no Soma. So if you're into those, please subscribe. And until next time, bye!